The new WOW book is WOW Ocean. And I always wanted to do a WOW Ocean because I, I'm a surfer and once you, uh, you get in the ocean, you spend that much time in the ocean, that just the marvel of it, the awe of it, the power of it, the vastness of it, it's, it's almost a religious experience. Um, and so I, well, doing WOW Ocean was just a natural choice for me. When I got into doing WOW America and to a lesser extent WOW School though, what's one of the things about the WOW books is they can be very informational uh, and, and, and be like a teaching tool. With WOW Ocean, I thought it'd be really interesting to do, you know, whales and the different kinds of whales. Um, again, it's not a definitive encyclopedia of sea life, but it's for you very young readers to have an introduction to, to what the different kinds of whales look like, what the different kinds of jellyfish look like, different kinds of what you would see on a coral reef, tropical fish, and we do dolphins, uh, whales, coral reef, sharks, which they love. I have a daughter who's obsessed with sharks. She's seven years old. What's her favorite movie? Jaws. Terrified her the first time she saw it. But then you tell her it's a rubber shark and she can't get enough of it. Um, there's tide pools. And we do, as a family, we've spent hours and hours, you know, on the seashore just looking at tide pools and, and wandering amongst them. You know, it's, it's fascinating. So I label every different kind of sea creature. You know, wow deep, we do the uh, angler fish, you know, with the light and all of these things. So everything's labeled and everything has to be precise. And I spent a lot of time in the library checking it out. And I am going to have a marine biologist do the final proofing of it to make sure that everything's right. Because once you print 30,000 copies, you can't have a mistake. When I was a little kid, I thought that if, any, if something was in print, it was gospel. It was like literally carved in stone. When I got into journalism as a grown-up and began to realize how human people are and how things slip in, uh, you know, I realized that that wasn't true. Uh, I think with children's books, um, you really have to make a special effort to, to be accurate of everything that you describe and everything you do. I have a fifth grader, and if I say some, we, we have a tortoise, you know, and I say turtle every now and then because I'm lazy, and she says, Dad, it's a tortoise! And, you know, and I, anyway, so you, you can't have a flaw, you can't have a mistake. And I do a lot of research because, um, you know, I mean, if you're going to label anything, you've got to label it correctly or else don't label anything. You know, you, you're either in or you're out that way. But I found it really interesting in Wow Ocean to do the labels. I thought it would be really interesting because I know how the kids love that.